Hello, and welcome back to Code Instinct. If you're here to level up your CSS skills, you're in the right place. In today's video, we're going to break down CSS Grid in the easiest way possible. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a solid understanding of how CSS Grid works and how you can use it to create powerful and responsive layouts effortlessly. Before we dive in, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of my patrons who support this channel. Your contributions make it possible for me to create more high-quality content. If you'd like to get exclusive source code and early access to projects, consider joining my Patreon for as little as $3 per month. If you find this content helpful, please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. CSS Grid is a powerful two-dimensional layout system that allows developers to design structured and flexible web layouts with ease. Unlike Flexbox, which works in only one direction, either row or column CSS Grid provides full control over both rows and columns simultaneously, making it ideal for creating complex yet organized designs. This system offers a more efficient, scalable, and responsive approach, reducing the need for extra HTML elements and simplifying layout management. With minimal code, CSS Grid enables the creation of modern, adaptive web pages that automatically adjust to different screen sizes, making it an essential tool for building visually appealing and well-structured websites. CSS Grid offers precise layout control, allowing developers to easily manage the placement of elements across both rows and columns without relying on complex positioning techniques. Unlike traditional methods that require additional div wrappers, CSS Grid reduces HTML clutter, making the code cleaner and more efficient. It is also inherently responsive, adapting seamlessly to different screen sizes using fractional FI units and media queries. Compared to Flexbox, CSS Grid provides greater flexibility, making it ideal for complex web page layouts that require a structured and scalable design. Additionally, it simplifies alignment and spacing eliminating the need for extra CSS rules, as built-in grid properties handle element positioning effortlessly. Now, let's break down the HTML structure of our post gallery to understand how each element contributes to the overall design. Inside the body section, we have a section element with a class of post grid. This section acts as the container for all our posts and will be styled using CSS grid to create an organized layout. Each post is represented by a div element with the class post. This class will be used to style all the images uniformly. However, some of these posts require a different size or positioning within the grid. For that, we've added additional classes. The first one is large class. This class is applied to post one. It will make the image span across two rows in the grid. The second one is wide class. This class is applied to post four it will make the image span across two columns in the grid. This simple yet effective structure ensures that all images are wrapped inside a flexible and scalable CSS grid container. Now that we have structured our HTML, let's dive deep into the CSS styling step by step. We will break down every selector, property, and value used in our styling so that you fully understand how CSS grid is applied to this project. First, we define the post gallery container by applying CSS grid to post grid. The display grid property is the foundation of this layout, enabling us to position and organize elements in a structured way. Without this declaration, the child elements would behave like regular block level elements instead of following a grid format. To ensure proper spacing between the post, we use the gap 10 pixel property. This automatically adds equal spacing between grid items, both horizontally and vertically, making our layout cleaner and more visually appealing. Next, we define how the columns will be distributed using grid template columns repeat 31FR. This means that the gallery will consist of three equally sized columns, where each column takes up one fraction, 1FR, of the total available space. The repeat 31FR function makes it easy to create multiple columns without manually defining each width. If we had used pixel values instead, the layout would not be as flexible or responsive. To create padding around the entire gallery, we use padding 20 pixel. 
This ensures that the posts do not touch the edges of the web page, providing a comfortable visual margin. Additionally, we apply background color, which gives the gallery a purple background, helping the white colored post stand out more effectively. Once the grid structure is in place, we need to style each individual post item inside the gallery. The post class is applied to all post blocks, giving them a consistent design. The first thing we set is the background color with white. This ensures that every post block has a white background, making the layout visually appealing. To improve text visibility inside the post blocks, we set color purple, ensuring a high contrast against the white background. To make each post block spacious and well-balanced, we apply padding 40 pixel. This adds internal spacing, making sure that the text inside doesn't stick too close to the edges. Additionally, font size 1.5 rem increases the text size, making it easier to read. The rem unit is used instead of pixels to ensure scalability, allowing the text size to adjust based on the root font size. To keep the text properly aligned, we use TextAlign Center, ensuring that all text inside the post blocks is horizontally centered. However, simply centering the text horizontally is not enough. We also need to align the text vertically, to achieve this, we use Display Flex, which enables Flexbox inside each post element. Once Flexbox is enabled, we apply ALIATM Center to vertically center the content, ensuring that the text appears perfectly in the middle. Simultaneously, Justify Content Center horizontally centers the text as well. These two properties together create a perfectly centered layout for each post block. Not all posts in our gallery should have the same size. Some should be larger or wider to create visual variety. To achieve this, we define two special classes, large and wide. The large class contains grid row span 2, which means that any photo assigned this class will occupy two rows instead of just one. This is useful for emphasizing certain posts, creating a more dynamic layout. Similarly, the wide class contains grid columns span 2. This makes the element span across two columns, effectively making it twice as wide as a regular post. These simple properties allow us to manipulate grid item sizes dynamically without needing extra HTML modifications. A well-designed web page should adapt to different screen sizes, especially for mobile users. To make our post gallery fully responsive, we use a media query targeting screens that are 768 pixels wide or smaller. The at media max width 768 pixel rule ensures that when the screen size falls below 768 pixel, typical for tablets and smartphones, the grid layout switches to a single column format. This is done by redefining grid template columns 1FR, which tells CSS Grid to create only one column allowing each image to take up the full width of the screen. This simple adjustment eliminates layout clutter on small screens, ensuring a smooth user experience. Without this media query, the grid would remain in a three-column format, even on smaller devices, making the images too small and difficult to view. With just a few lines of CSS grid, we have successfully built a modern, scalable, and fully responsive post gallery. We started by defining a structured grid container, applied consistent styling to each photo block, and then used span properties to manipulate item sizes dynamically. Finally, we ensured responsive behavior with a media query, making the gallery work seamlessly across all screen sizes. CSS Grid is an essential tool for modern web development. Whether you're creating galleries, dashboards, or complex page layouts, Grid gives you unmatched control over positioning elements efficiently. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to get free source code and behind the scenes content, make sure to check out my Patreon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.